I don't know how well this will record, but this morning when I came out to gas up one of our generators, I realized that a colony of harvester ants that has been here for a long time, this is their original home right here, they've been in this colony right here for years, that they were in the process of migrating. You can see that some of them actually, as they leave the hole, they're actually carrying other ants and a lot of other ant furniture and food supplies or things that things of that nature it would seem. I had to look at it for a little while before I realized that's what was happening and that there's a trail of them. Uh, I'm going to try to get up here where I can get a little bit of maybe zoom in a little bit so I can stand. I was squatting right by the hole and what they're doing is they're moving en masse over to a new hole. I'm going to walk over to that spot in a minute but it's over there where past a couple of extension cords that we have there and over to oh my there we are it's at the edge of the rocks over there it's hard for me to see in the sunlight and I may be missing a lot of it but let's go over I'm going to take the zoom back down and walk over there this viewfinder it's hard to see uh, if you will an ant or even a few hundred ants when we're dealing with this there's their main hole right here that they're moving into this is their new house their new colony chapter if you will and they appear to be well there are many hundreds of them involved in the move. I have some around my shoe and that sort of thing. So far none of them have climbed up on the shoe. They're, they're not interested of course in what I'm doing so much as they are in getting the job done and moving in. Now you thought your moving day was hectic. How would you like to have to move from way over, now there's an, a, a backup Let's see here, there's another little, yeah there are two holes, on the lower left there you can see the main entrance and there's another one that's not quite as big an entrance uh, over toward the right, uh, right center a little bit. Now we're going to turn back here and I'm not going to zoom it so we probably will get to a point where it's very hard to see ants. but we're in the monsoon month of July in southern Arizona and we should have had a lot of rain by now we simply have not this year supposedly we're supposed to get a bunch more pretty soon and over there well you can see where my camera tripod is set up about that's the edge of their turf over there and about two and a half feet from the tripod to the right is where they're moving from. Now in terms of an ant journey I've seen these same harvester ants. Now this is interesting because you'll notice that quite a few of them are actually carrying other ants from home to home. Now, I'm not sure what that's all about. It could be that, well, I don't think they would have that many queens. Now, I've, I know that these ants will carry their dead back to the colony, and I believe they feed on them. So maybe what's happening is they're bringing in corpses, but I'm not so sure that all of them that are being carried look dead 
because a lot of times an ant when it's kicked a bucket will curl up into pretty much nothing and these these guys look they're being carried look pretty healthy now oh this is interesting if I can catch this I need to try to pan over there mm, let me see if I can catch it coming out somewhere well there was a uh, velvet ant over here which is not an ant at all but a parasitic wasp came buzzing through there and I, I didn't get a I didn't get a look didn't get the camera on it in time now this to me I have other things I need to do I need to head to town and pick up some meds for my wife and that sort of thing but I'm 70 years old and this is the first time I'd ever had a chance to document house moving day for an entire colony of ants and I just thought I, I had to take the time to record this. Thank you.